Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer review video. Today we're going to be uh, unboxing, setting up, and reviewing the Canon PIXMA G6020. Now this is similar to the Epson EcoTank models that I have uh, reviewed on my channel. It is not using ink cartridges, but it is using actual ink bottles. So I'm going to create a couple of other videos showing you how to uh, actually install the ink bottles and also to end up doing a video on the actual print quality on this printer so stay tuned subscribe to my channel for those videos as well now if you were shopping around and you were look, uh, watching this video deciding on whether to buy this printer or not there will be a link in the description below whether you want more information or if you want to just go ahead and buy it today uh, that information is going to be available to you as well now any other uh, information that I talk about during the video products uh, all of that will be in the description below anytime during the video you can pause it go down get what you need also make sure to visit my website bestprinterstech.com where you can find a variety of printers printer ink and also if you're having issues with your uh, printing a certain color um, I also sell my best printers cleaning kit uh, which I will leave a link to below as well this video ends up being helpful to you uh, make sure to like the video if you have any questions at all go ahead and comment below if you want more content like this uh, make sure to subscribe. But without further ado, let's get started with the rest of the video. Alright, so what you're going to be getting in the box is um, color and black ink, and you have two additional bottles of black ink, and you're also going to have a few uh, print heads, a cable, manual, and a CD. So we're jumping right in here and we are connecting the power cable to the printer. And I will show you and give you some instructions here in just a moment. You're gonna power this on and you're gonna jump right into it. So once you select your language, you will notice that you have an error code because you need right there, your print heads cannot, cannot be detected. So you're gonna to have to install them. You have a black and a color print head that actually need to be installed before you even do the ink. So this is separate from the ink. This is just the transmitter uh, for the ink. So you're going to be uh, installing, you see there it's B for black and C for color and really just have to lift up the bottom latch of this carriage. You've got your black ink uh, print head is what this is. And uh, you just slide it right down in there. Very simple. So really, you just have to lift the top of the printer and this uh, print head carriage comes to the middle, lift it up, and then you're installing the black and color print heads. Okay, and that one has a few more holes in there because you've got different colors, of course. Then you're just going to close it, uh, shut it down, and then you're going to click both of these, which is going to secure both print heads, black and color. You see that there. Okay, go ahead and close that. And now we are going to, for the sake of this video, I'm going to speed through the ink installation. If you want uh, actual instructions, I will leave a link below uh, for the ink installation video that I'm going to be uh, making that kind of explains a little bit more on how to actually install this ink bottle uh, into the ink compartment versus when you're using cartridges. So I'll just leave this here and that's really all I'm going to go into as far as the ink. Okay, and this, uh, your, your paper tray here, and I'll show you um, more in depth. I'll kind of take it out of the printer later on in the video, but this actually holds up to 250 sheets. Uh, but then you also have the back paper tray, which I'll show you again later in the video. So once you've installed the ink, um, you're, it's going to be processing. It's going to take about 10 minutes, most likely. This is a good time for you to go through the setup start uh, starting manual. And really, throughout this whole video, you should be using it. And this is kind of just putting uh, a video um, as far as instructions into the mix. But really, you should be also reading and following along in your instruction manual. Anything I don't cover, like wireless connection or connecting your... Um, smartphone is going to be in there as well and this cd of course is for you to install onto your uh, uh, pc or laptop uh, so you can so that you can have the driver for this printer so once that is done your uh, printer is also going to want to do an alignment 
And once that is done, uh, that's pretty much it. You're done here and uh, you can go through and see the different options. What I would have liked to have seen here is an actual touch screen, uh, but this is fine. It's got all the functionality, everything you need to print on ID cards. Uh, it's not really for photo printing, but you've got different types of paper you can print on. And you've got a lot of different options here. you got a good uh, cleaning option, which is an ink reset. Uh, that is going to be the deepest cleaning that you can do. If you want more information on that, uh, you can uh, go to um, my channel and look for the how to um, clean print head on this uh, particular model. You can also check the print quality. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and we're actually going to do a copy here. And you'll see here, I, I was attempting to do a, a print and actual print quality uh, page, but that didn't happen. Um, you see the scanner there, normal scanner. And uh, towards the end here, I kind of just added something so that it would do something. It would print something out. But as you can see, they're a very functional scanner, uh, very quick printing. And uh, again, here is your 250 sheet capacity paper tray that's going to be on the bottom of the printer. So overall, this is a, a very sleek, um, lightweight printer. Uh, they're making them a lot more lightweight now. It works with uh, Amazon Alexa, uh, Google Assistant. This is ideal for home or small business use. Um, you can also connect wirelessly to your smartphone and it's got Apple AirPrint enabled. You've got individual ink tanks that's gonna give you a lot more capacity for the usage on the ink. If you want more additional ink, um, more than what was, came with the box, I'm gonna have a link for some Canon uh, GI20 ink as well. And you still have your USB port and um, you're able to copy, scan, uh, and print everything that you really would get from uh, a basic printer. But of course, the main feature here are your tanks. This is similar to the Epson Eco Tank, uh, although this is the Canon version of it. And so it is very, very much going to give you uh, a good amount of uh, ink and uh, ink capacity over the year. Just make sure you don't run too low on your ink because you will have some issues uh, if you do run it too low. So there you have it. You've got two additional black inks that come in the box. Again, if you were interested in uh, taking a look at more details or wanted more information or p potentially purchasing this printer, there's going to be a link in the description below along with uh, some more links to other products that I've also mentioned throughout the video. I hope that this uh, video was informative. I hope that it was uh, helpful to you. If you have any additional questions on this printer, uh, I'll do my best to answer them, but go ahead and comment below. Uh, if it was helpful, make sure to like, and also for more videos like this, uh, make sure to subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for some other videos on this printer. Uh, that's really all I have for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer review video. Today we've got the Epson EcoTank 3760 and we're going to be unboxing, setting up, and reviewing this printer. And uh, stick with me from the beginning all the way until the end of this video uh, so that you get the full picture and get to see what this printer really has to offer. This is a new release and of course it is an EcoTank which is uh, new on the market fairly new and uh, is making great strides. They are now updated from their uh, black color models, which are actually the older models to now. They've got a white uh, color on these printers. And so we're going to take a look at them, see the different specs. Uh, also, if you wanted more specs that I don't cover in this video or you wanted to check out some other printers, go ahead and uh, click on the link that is in the description below for this printer. It's gonna say Epson Ecotank.